few people have asked about the power master torch um, is it the same as the Fronius, this that and the other very similar um, I think Fronius were only doing it for the last three four years launch have had this for a lot longer um, at least six years that's when I was first using one of these machines at a firm I worked at and they had a power master torch um, basically what it does is you've got this triangle arrow button here press that and it scrolls through all the settings that you'd have on the face of the machine so there we've got we're in a speed pulse so we're in a single pulse program and um, we've told it what wire like we're using steel wire it's one mil thickness and um, the gas is uh, 8218 so now that's on like sort of a synergic program for the pulse and then um, so let's change the amps the wire uh, the plate thickness wire feed uh, arc length correction and uh, the dynamics which sort of changes the the shape of the arc makes it narrower or what makes the cone of the arc narrower or wider and you can change all that using the plus the minus buttons it's, it's most useful if you're away from the machine on the other side of a weldment or something save you so much time walking backwards and forwards to make small changes especially when you're changing the arc length or going to different thickness materials so you can see if we go into material thickness if I change it on the machine it changes on the torch if I change it on the torch it changes it on the machine that will literally save you countless hours in walking back to the machine if you're doing something that's got a few different size welds that need to be made um, it's a great sort of tool um, especially to change the arc as well if, if you go from a fillet to a butt on a fillet you, like, you might want sort of plus 10 really like, sort of narrow up the arc cone if you then go to like doing a cap or a butt weld or something um, you might want to go to sort of minus 10 and really splay that arc out give you a bit of a, a flatter bead um, yeah it's a good tool and the torch is nice this is a water cooled it's called a 7700 uh, I don't know all the specs on it it's just what was available the other day it's got a twist neck uh, copper copper like really heavy duty copper neck it's got the heavy duty tips and shrouds um, I've got it hooked up just to my makeshift TIG water cooler um, which is it's keeping it cold it's doing the job at the minute but I probably will get the, the proper launch cooler that integrates with the machine and then it comes on and off at the minute you've got to remember to turn this on <laughs> so uh, yeah it's just a little look at the launch torch and here's the um, the old torch I was using before very similar probably an easier button to press than that uh, new style but um, the, the neck on this is we think when it's getting hot this air cold it's binding up on the line and it's causing all sorts of feed issues but that that's like your, your arrow button that swaps through your settings and then that's up and down but keeping it as a spare it's all right at low amps it's just trying to do anything sort of over six mil on pulse it just gets too hot so yeah that's um that's basically the setup we're running now 